Volus are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy, but they are also a client race of the Turians. Centuries ago, they were voluntarily absorbed into the hierarchy, effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian military protection. Irun, their home world, lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star. However, the world has a high-pressure greenhouse atmosphere that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus must wear pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them. And in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, their flesh will actually split open. Volus culture is tribal, bartering lands and even people to gain status. This culture of exchange inclines them to economic pursuits. It was the Volus who authorized the Unified Banking Act, and they continue to monitor and balance the Citadel economy. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is showing up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have choice. Once again, I am Omega. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units, reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Everybody knows you can't dance. I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? 
Getting a shattered pelvis. And a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... I can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. It looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony, only regret. <coughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pa! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. If you're so remorseful... <coughs> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper? Your people were studying a Reaper corpse? Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people! But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. 
We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. I've sabotage the metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't... do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. I don't have that. Here, at least let me send you my dissertation. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway, good luck fixing the Metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, but see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I'm gonna be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. <sighs> I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it.
You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for Drydock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. I'm glad you weren't. You'd be dead, and we'd never have met. Yeah. Well, that's the one good thing from all this. I'm glad to serve with you, Shepard. The lives of future generations rest on those Turians' shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day? <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah, but it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? 
And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And Aquarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers, but I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Commander? An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. 
Thank you, Commander. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and the Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or...? Did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. 
Yes, they do. Why you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Was the Volus Ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. 
That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Until we killed Korlak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. 
Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zai, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Wondered if you'd show up, should Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not, and I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on. But I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. You give me strength. Thank you. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker's been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? 
He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Your turn. Counselor Table. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. He was a soldier, and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs>